Why the f is Mr. Beast production team taking contestants underwear? I think I'll speak for everyone when I say how in the world is the Mr. Beast situation getting worse by the day. I made a video on Mr. Beast five days ago but YouTube took that video down and then I vowed never to make a video on Mr. Beast again. But today a lady on Twitter made a tweet on Twitter saying Jimmy's production team took every contestant's underwear and medicine for some weird reason. They were told they would be giving back but they were not. Multiple female contestants messaged me saying that Beast game still has her underwear underwears disgusting yeah that's absolutely disgusting jimmy what are you up to bruh anyways when i saw this tweet on twitter i decided to dig deeper into the situation and share it with you guys some of the brain dead comments i saw was is jimmy supposed to provide underwears lol can you post some sort of proof very serious allegations I don't fucking understand these brain dead individuals. The proof is on YouTube. Get the fuck out of Twitter and stop being a bitch. And yes, Jimmy is supposed to provide them with underwears. If he knew he wasn't going to, then why take their underwears? Are you some kind of like demon that uses girls underwear for ritual? Just to make yourself bigger? I'm sorry if I'm going too far, but honestly, I don't give a fuck. I love myself because I say whatever the fuck I think is right. Do you want to know the craziest part about this? Is that none of the big YouTubers, none of the fucking big YouTubers are talking about the Mr. B situation. Chris Lysons like and Mega like the air file. I They're like silent. Mr. Beast was found in the Discord server filled with minors. They're silent. Mr. Beast is censoring the truth on his video. They're silent. Like when are you gonna fucking realize that you can never get a collaboration with Mr. Beast? Never. Never. Oh damn. Some of the women who happened to be on their monthly period were denied the rights to get the pads they usually make use of. That's like taking away someone's rights. Why are all the big dogs quiet about this? YouTube, why are you all quiet? Oh, I forgot you were busy banning I show speed for jumping over two cars. How bad can this platform become? Mr. Beast's contents are basically based on risks and destruction. Why haven't YouTube taken any actions yet? Oh wait, their golden boy brings in 100 million views per video. Which is sad because all of Mr. Beast's audiences are kids. They have no access to good brain cells and I don't blame them for that because YouTube will not recommend these videos exposing Mr. Beast to them. And maybe because of their watch history, but who knows? That's not just it. The contestants who are currently participating in Beast games just leaked the information about the terrible things that are currently going on. I wanted to read you one of the messages with the permission of one of the contestants to give you an idea of why I'm so upset and why I simply just can't let this go. It's absolutely not okay. So I'm going to read to you her message. I was a contestant until the end. I also didn't accept their hush money. It was really bad. People were having seizures because they were not getting medication, even though we were promised we would. And it was 100% rigged. They presented it as though the game would be like Squid Games, basically a type of game show where all the games are an even playing field. That was not at all the case. All the games were about speed and strength, so only the young athletic males were at an advantage over the women and elderly people were also casted. To make things worse, men started realizing that they could take out the women without being eliminated. Guys started tackling and hitting women. Two girls were tackled and passed out on the field and were dragged off to continue filming. I saw people with broken bones, stitches, etc. And most were women. We were given maybe 400 calories a meal and only fed every 12 hours. Food would run out and people would bite over, steal, and hoard food. Water was scarce and kept running out as well. I had to sit with a bloody pad for two days before I could get undergarments and my reusable pads because I'm allergic to regular pads. We were also sleep deprived, only allowed three to four hours. We all slept on the floor in the stadium in a $10 sleeping bag. It's just bad and sad at the same time. Honestly, if I was to be on the Beast game, I would have dropped out a long time ago because I wouldn't be able to be a not being fed like three times or at least two times a day but you, you know just imagine how stinky that place would be i mean contestants aren't getting appropriate body hygiene and also yeah uh, my dad always told me he said hey son no situation is permanent no conditions are permanent so mr beast if you thought you and those fools called amazon could just take advantage of people just because of their financial situation you're wrong I used to love you Mr. Beast, literally, I used to love you. If you all think I'm joking, check out my old videos. I used to look up to you, but now like, like now I'm seeing the truth, bro. Like, I see you differently now, honestly. Goddamn. While searching for valuable information to tell you all, I found a tweet by another branded individual. He was like, this is run by Amazon and not Mr. Beast team. Seriously, if you know this dude, I want you to tell him, please delete your Twitter account, break your phone, and maybe just hang yourself because you'll be doing the world a huge favor. Like, think about it. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm tired of these fools. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep eating my melons because, you know, they make me less angry and, uh, yeah, I'm seriously close to 70,000 subscribers.
please do where to subscribe and like the video thank you all for um always returning to my videos I'm, i really appreciate and uh, this is a voiceover i don't know why i couldn't just say bye so yeah bye